You don't want to work. I give you many chances. Now we only... How many days you working with the Ferris employer? Five. How many? Five. Five days? Yeah. So you come back. Again, I, I try to give you many times. Now you are stay here 11 days. Yeah. Or more than 11 days. So I don't want to work. No, I don't want to work in this country because... Huh? I don't want to, to work in this country because I am paying to live them. I can't pick you to doctor. You didn't tell me us. Now we will give you medicine so you can change the employer. No. Why? I want to go back to Kenya. But then this is not reason you say I have been. This is not reason. That day you contact your mom. What did mom say to you? She told me to go back to Kenya. Right. So he can pay the expenses to, 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 to uh, Amal office, agency? Who oh, he will pay that expenses? We are uh, office losing. What? I say, did you think, think you come to this country free? Yeah. You are not come free. Why you come from Kenya if you don't like to work? You are still, you have many chance. I send you, you come back. Why? Because of this. What is this? I have this also. Hey, you people, sometimes you normally amaze me so much. Before you leave your country to come and work in the Middle East, what are you thinking about? Do you th are you thinking that you are coming for a vacation or you are coming to work? If you want uh, to go for a vacation and enjoy yourself, or you want to go for a trip or tour, why don't you look for money and come by yourself, pay your own ticket and come and enjoy yourself? You are, you are letting another person pay for your ticket, pay for your passport, and you're just coming like for free, everything is cut and for. And you expect to work for two weeks and go back home. And you want even to go back home and you can't even afford to pay your own ticket to go back home. You still want somebody to pay for your ticket to go back home. Just know that if you are leaving your country to come to the Middle East, people here are working. And they are working very hard. They are earning genuine money out of their sweat. It's not easy. It's not a walk in the park. People are working. You can't come here and work for one week and you start complaining you want to go back home. You cannot change your mind after you have traveled and come here. The agent told you that everything is free and you didn't pay anything. I'm talking to ladies. You did not pay anything. You came for free. Don't expect that you will come here and work for one month and you start uh, telling uh, your Arab boss that you want to go back home. He cutted for everything for God's sake. It was not like two dollars. No, it's a lot of money to pay for your ticket, your visa and your everything to bring you here. You didn't pay anything and there is nothing free in this world because you didn't pay anything. That is why you don't have rights to come and work here for one month and demand that you want to go back home. You have to work for at least two years, two good years, before you go back to your country. Some people come here and they work for one month and they want to go back home. Who will pay for that money that you, you spend, eh? the money that was spent on you? Who will pay that money? And you realize that they, don't even, they can't even afford to pay their own ticket back. They still want that Arab boss to pay for the ticket. And when the agent tells them that you have to work for two years, they start posting here on social media, this agency is bad, they're not taking care of us. Now watch this video. See this girl, who is to blame here? My body become hot. Because you want to? Huh? Because you want to have... Sex. You have to have a sexual relationship with that guy. Relationship, yes. Yes, uh-huh. So you cannot control it, it's very hard for you to control. Yes, it's very hard for me to control. Mm -hmm. So, you said if you knew that you're not allowed to have boyfriends here in Saudi Arabia, you would not have come here, right? Who told you? Like in if Saudi you have Arabia an idea that uh, it's not allowed you? to have a boyfriend here in Saudi Arabia, you, you will not come here. Yes. Who told you in Saudi Why Arabia? Why did they not tell you there in, in Kenya? Which family are yes, you planning? I don't know that about they did that. not Who tell you. Who told you you can have a relationship in Saudi Arabia? <clears throat> Who told you? So I tell Madame to vote for me. In Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia and relationship yes, in one sentence. I continue work, but Madame bring me to the office. 
if you want to work and there's at the same no time have medicine relationship, there don't so think about i mean i don't think, think about europe that and there America is some medicine for that illness but in the middle east these are muslim countries anyway, and they don't that's it. Their what is the use of a uh, family plan when you don't even have a husband here you don't even have a boyfriend here for the two years you'll be working here you will not be in any relationship so what pregnancy are you trying to protect you don't want it's to not it's not important you, you don't have now to have a family a family planning method to come here lawyer? it's not important it has no days? use here five days yeah. so these implants that we normally put I, I in, your, in our hands times. when you want now to come to the middle east remove them yeah. or more than remove them before you travel so I don't want to work. because they don't have work here you are not going huh? to have any relationship here with them any man okay so you will never get pregnant all right and some I of these implants when you put in your hands you and you, you travel you, you come here and they will bring complications so you maybe you there. start bleeding because of the Why? climate change or maybe you just put it and you travel you don't know if it works with your body or not you don't need a family planning here happy. in saudi arabia not because you, you are not you in any relationship so you you will not even get pregnant so it has no use Okay, before you come here, so he if you had a family plan in your hand, to, to, remove it before you travel. Office, the coins and whatever, just remove them before you travel. They are expenses. not needed here. Are, because, why am I telling building. you that? If you come here and you experience complications, thank God this, you, 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 this girl was given a chance to go to the hospital. You are not come free. She just refused, okay? Other people, they are not given why that you chance. Come from Kenya if you don't like you will be required to take money from your salary. To go you and remove it in the chance. private hospital because I public hospitals are congested, Why? and no Arab boss will take you to a public hospital. A public hospital to go and queue there from morning to evening, waiting for you to be remove that family plant. So you will have to remove in a public hospital, and it will cost you more than fifteen thousand Kenyan shillings to remove that implant from your hand. The cheapest hospital I know here it's five hundred reals. And that is more than 14,500 right now as per exchange rate. Just to get that thing out of your hand and you can get it free. You can get it out free in Kenya. By the way, in Kenya it's free in a public hospital, in a government hospital. It's free to get it out. Why will you come with it here so that you'll go to a, an Arab hospital and get it out using 15,000 Kenyan shillings? That's a waste of money. What if you come here and maybe you experience complications and maybe that boss is bad one? He will not take you to the hospital. What will happen to you? You don't need family planning here. And look at this girl now. He is being told. She's being told. Eh? She's being given a chance to be taken to hospital for free. So that that family plan will be removed from her hand. So that she can be able to work because she's saying that she's bleeding. But she doesn't want. She wants to go back to the country. She has not even worked for one year. And you know, the Arab boss paid almost 400 Kenyan shillings, 400,000 Kenyan shillings to ferry her from Africa to here. So who is going to pay uh, that money back? And then you will start singing here on social media, Arabs are bad, Arabs are bad, Arabs are bad. What if it was you who paid that money to get somebody to come and work for, uh, to come and work for you? And then they work for one week and they demand to go back. When they didn't even pay for their own passport, they didn't even have any document. Another one is here. Listen to this. My body become hot. Because you want to? Huh? Because you want to have... Sex. You have to have a sexual relationship with that guy. Relationship, yes. Yes, uh-huh. So you cannot control it. It's very hard for you to control. Yes, it's very hard for me to control. Mm -hmm. So you said if you knew that you are not allowed to have boyfriends here in Saudi Arabia, if you, you know, would not you can't have control your sexual come practice, here, right? Don't travel. Like if you have an idea that uh, it's not don't allowed travel. to have a boyfriend here in Saudi you Arabia, you will not come here. The woman here. Yes. here, people are single. Why did totally they not tell you there in No relationship, no in Kenya? boyfriend, no husband. Yes, I don't know totally that. single. They did not tell you, huh? Yes. Mm. So this one is asking so if uh, she can get medicine for that disease. I continue Just imagine. There's that no medicine there, so I mean, I don't think Arabia, that there is, there no is some medicine for that So she travels blindly, and now she's here, and anyway, she has to go That's it. Her. Because she cannot work without a man. That is what she's trying to say. Imagine that is a reason why she's going back to the office to demand to be taken back home.
So what if this Arab says that uh, you are not traveling, you have to finish your two years? You will be running on social media that Arabs are bad, Arabs are bad, Arabs are bad. Another one is here. How many persons in this house? What is your name? Cecilia Mora. I, want, I cannot hear you. What is your name? Cecilia Mora. Right. What is your problem? How many how many persons in this with this family? There are three. Three only. Huh? Yes. What time you get up morning? Eight. And what time you done your work? Eleven. Did you have uh, uh, rest? Kenyans are funny. Yeah. So, only three persons. Did you eat that food is good? Reason to stop working because huh? uh, did you sleep well? You want, you want to be told. Uh, thank you Mama so much and, so and, and, and her daughter. Uh, uh, good family or not good family? And at the end of the day, you're being paid. Not there, working yeah, it, there is not abuse? For free. You're being paid. No maltreatment? So, why you don't want to work? Tell me now, talk to now, here, tell me what is the reason. It's, it's not a work in the time. Things are not really. Hi, hi, I cannot People say. Are what? Listen to you. Working two days, yeah. working day and they night, some sleeping for only six hours. Now, this one is. What, working how can complain? Did you finish your work good so he, so he can complain? Yes, 10. 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 No, I want to tell you something. Now you only are two weeks in this country. She you understand me? The house. She wants to go back to Kenya. Why did you leave Kenya in the first place to come here? When you were not even psychologically prepared that you are going to deal with this. I normally tell people, these houses, every house has its own challenge. You either find a nagging boss, or you find a boss that delays your salary, or you find a boss that doesn't want to see you sitting down, like even if the house is clean, she will keep you on toes, like sending you here and there, bring this, bring that, clean here, clean here, like all the time you are standing. Or maybe you find a boss that has problem with food. Maybe you eat twice a day. There is no perfect home here. Nothing perfect. These TikTok videos that we normally do, they should not confuse you. They should not make you think that uh, these people are just enjoying just waking up sleeping and eating and being paid no we are working we are working that's why we are getting paid and nobody should tell you that they are not experiencing any challenges every house has their own challenges even those people that have worked here for more than five years in the same house it doesn't mean that that house is perfect no that house has challenges they just learn to deal with the challenges in that house no perfect house here no. It's either the salary is being delayed, or if the salary is coming on time, it's either the boss is nagging, like they're just complaining about everything. If the salary is coming on time, the boss is not nagging. Maybe the problem is with food. If the problem is not with food or the, the, three, the rest of the three, maybe the kids are there. And you know a house that has kids. And you know these are not African kids. These are Arab kids. They are brought up in a different way, not like African kids. These kids, they mess and you don't beat them. You just clear the mess. You clean the mess. They mess, you clean the mess. You, they mess. So if you find a house that has maybe five kids, you will be working hard. For the two years, you will work really hard. You mess here, you clean here, they come and mess. You wipe the water, they come and pour the water down. You spread the bed, they come and spread it. They come and the toys everywhere. So every home has a challenge. So if you tell me that you want to quit your job because your boss is complaining, you have not cleaned well, because uh, the boss is not appreciating your work. Oh my God, so what if you are working and you work for four months without salary? What will you do now? What will you do? For instance, I have this a friend of mine from Burundi. She has six kids, six kids, and the eldest child is 12 years, from 12 to number six the difference is one year one year one year one year one year she's cooking she's doing laundry she's cleaning the house and the compound has a swimming pool and these kids they swim on daily basis initially i was complaining like uh, i'm doing a lot of work in this house until i visited that girl that is when i realized that i'm just idling in this house i'm not even working like that girl is working really hard this kid is in the water, you have to watch over her. The other one is there. This one doesn't want to swim, wants to come out. You 
take her out you give her a bath you you dress her and she wants to come in the water after sometimes so like this girl never rests until the time she's sleeping she's the still she's still the one that cooks she's still the one that cleans the house and you know how much she's being paid one thousand and you there you're complaining because your boss say that uh your boss uh, is not appreciating your work so that is enough reason to want to go back to africa there is this uh, group of girls that come here and after they work for uh, maybe one week one month it's normally it's below three months you feel like you've given up you change your mind like i don't want to to continue working please eh? there's no changing mind here you have already come you have already come if you want to change your mind change your mind before you travel after you have already traveled you are here there's no changing your mind unless if you have 400,000 in your account you can change your mind then pay that Arab uh, the 400,000 they paid for your for your a process to come here then go back to your country but if you don't have that money just know that here people are sacrificing it's not a walk in the park everybody has their own problems they are dealing with it's not a walk in the park working in the middle east it's a sacrifice and girls should know that no relationship no sex like no freedom no freedom for movement no like there is no perfect home all those challenges are here another girl was asking me i, I posted a video on my tiktok account and sometimes i normally remove this cover from my head because it's very hot here i can't put it on for 24 hours so sometimes i normally remove it and you know my hair is undone okay if you see somebody has plated their hair maybe with extension or whatever if you see somebody working in the middle east and they have plated their hair just know that that person is a kemboy if that person is not a kemboy that person is working uh house to house they are working in they meet in the office house to house they're working in the company like they work on one month contract after they finish their contract they are taking back to the office there they meet with several other kenyan ladies so they can they can do each other's hair okay or maybe number three they are working in one house more than one girl that is the only uh, chance and that girl knows how to plate hair that is the only occasion you will find that someone working here in the middle the middle east has done their hair other people our hair are shaggy no salons nothing middle east is not a free country so this girl this girl is just my a closest friend of mine so i did a, a tiktok video i was not covering my head and uh, she commented uh uko maju uko kwenye kuna pesa na nywele zinakaa hivyo so I just laughed. By the way, I didn't uh, get offended. I just laughed because she's not informed. That shows she's not informed. So I didn't get offended. Because I remember one day, uh, my cousin was working in Qatar. That time I was young. I was like in class 6. So she was working in Qatar. And you know, in class 6, I didn't know anything about uh, abroad. I just knew that if you bought that plane, you are abroad. I didn't know about differences in countries, what people do there. So my uncle passed away and my cousin was to come for the funeral. Her boss was kind, so she came. And uh, she came when uh, it was in the middle of the funeral. You know, in uh, Western, how pe when people are giving speech, everybody is settled. Uh, and uh, she arrived with uh, a taxi. So we were expecting her. You like cousin Yetu Maju, eh? the one that was working abroad. Cousin Maju, so she's coming. Everybody is expecting her, okay? Everybody wants to see how people look like when they come from abroad. So she's coming and she alights from the taxi. And uh, you know the tension? Everybody stood up and we are going to welcome her. And I looked at her from the toe to the hair and I'm like, what? Are you sure you are coming from Maju? You sure you are coming from abroad? But at that time I was young, I was in class 6. So I was like, you are coming from Maju and my hair is neater than yours. Which kind of maju is that? I didn't understand that, okay? So I understood this girl when she commented, she commented on my videos that my hair looks like somebody who doesn't have money and I'm in maju. So I understood she is not informed. She doesn't know anything about maju. So she expects that if you are working abroad, you have to have those wigs like 
putting on, putting on makeup, new clothes, iPhone, you know, because you are abroad. But let me tell you, my dear, other countries, it's possible. If you're working in Europe, maybe in America, you can do your hair if you have the money, okay? Because it's expensive to do your hair there. Most people that I see that are working even in America, they have very simple hair because it's expensive. You won't spend like uh, 50,000 doing your hair when 50,000 can do a huge project at home. So people people decide uh, people decide to cut their hair short and that money that they could have used on the hair they do uh, on some they spend it on something uh, else that is important. So, okay, in Europe you can do it if you have money. But in Saudi Arabia even if you have money, you can't plait your hair. You can't you just have to cover your hair. Or maybe if you are a Kemboy, well and good, you can do it. You, if you are not working on contract, you can do it. Because you meet with other fellow Kenyans. You are out there, you have the freedom. But people who are working on contract, like me here, we have shaggy hair. The only thing you can do about your hair, maybe do blow dry. That's it. Only blow dry. Because we don't have that freedom. We don't go to the salon. We don't. Somebody should not lie to you that we normally go to the salons here. No, we don't go to the salons. When you are sitting here in the house, you are working in that house for two years. When you are going out, you are going out with your boss and coming back in the same same house. You don't just wake up and go where you want to go and come back like in Kenya. There is no that freedom. Room. Even if I was given that chance to go to the salon, I still won't afford. You see braids, these normal braids, the one that we buy at uh, 70 shillings in Kenya. One. Is 900 here for my big head I need around four and it's, even if I buy them I don't have that person that will come and do it and if I have to go outside and pay someone to do that it will be very expensive it will cost me more than 10,000 just to do simple braids on my head that's expensive to me I can't afford it. I can't I can't afford so that's why I keep my hair Simple. I will do my hair when I go back to Kenya. I can't afford and even if maybe I was given that chance I don't even know where the salons are. You know the salons here. They are not like in Kenya where the salon is open You just uh, you're just walking on the street and you see this is a salon. No That is not the situation here Only the the kinyosis for men. No? I don't know if that one for men is called the salon I don't know the kinyosis for men are open if you're walking around, you can see this, uh, this is where the men shave their hair. But for ladies, ladies in Saudi Arabia, they are not allowed to, to be seen uh, their hair with any other person. Unless other ladies, unless fellow, fellow ladies. So the salons are closed. The, like my boss here, if she wants to go to the salon, she normally uh, search on social media. And it's not the location. The doors are always closed. It's not open like you can just walk inside and see these are beautiful women doing their hair. No, it's closed. It's private. Okay? So if I want to do my hair, maybe uh, the time I will be wanting to go home, then uh, I can pay that. No, I can't pay that money. I will cut my hair short. I don't have to please anybody. This is my hair. If I want to, to do it, I can do it. If I don't want, I will stay with it like that. You don't have to give me pressure, like buy iPhone because you're working abroad. No, I will come with my Motorola C13. Yes, that is what I, I'll be using. You, you can't give me pressure. Like you're working abroad, you have to do your hair, you have to do makeup, you have to put on nice clothes. No, I will do that when I want. Not when you, told, when you tell me, okay? I don't have that kind of money. I'm poor. If you, you feel like uh, my hair is undone and uh, it's disgusting, you are uncomfortable with it. Uh, please ask me for, for my uh, account, account number. I give you my account number so that you deposit some money there. So that I do my hair with your money. Okay? But as long as it's my money, please don't complain. If it doesn't uh, look the way you want it to look, just do yours. Leave mine alone. Okay? And also know that in Saudi Arabia, we don't have that freedom to do everything that we want. No relationship, no doing hair, no doing makeup, no doing anything. You're just there. So those people coming in here with high expectations of working abroad, cut your expectations. Those people that uh, think that uh, because we post on TikTok, uh, maybe slaying after you have finished your work, you put on your Kenyan clothes and you come and entertain uh, people there. People think that now you are living large. 
My God, we are working for more than 12 hours here. It's not a walk in the park, okay? We are working for more than 12 hours and experiencing all those challenges. So, watch this video before you make the, your mind to come here. And don't come here and expect that you will come here and work for two months and quit. No quitting. As long as you have boarded that plane, you have come final. You will work here for two years before you go back to your country. There's no changing mind here. It's not a walk in the park. Okay? So before you start your process and come here and start crying, oh, you, are, you want to go back because you're not allowed to have a boyfriend, oh, you want to go back because uh, your boss is not appreciating your work, oh, you want to go back, blah, 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 blah. Just know that those things are normal. We are experiencing them. We are working without boyfriends and we are doing well. Okay? Period.